This is the final video in the series on modeling and texturing the Black Mesa locker room. So this is the ninth video. I've done eight parts before this. In part one, I was walking around the woods, walking my dogs and just talking about, about this thing. In part two, I showed some references and started planning out the series. In part three, I created some modular walls and did some texturing and substance painter. In part four, I did the wall tiles here. I think I kept referring to them as bricks. In part five, I showed you how I was going to do the ceiling. In part six, I modeled the bench. In seven, we modeled the lockers. And in part eight, I finished with the locks and the texturing of those lockers. All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, the renders that I have come up with. This is all modeled in Blender. It's textured uh, pretty much in Substance Painter. Um, it's rendered in Eevee. That was the one that I chose. I did it also in Cycles, but I ended up preferring Eevee. Uh, there's some HDRI lighting. There are a number of point lights, area lights, and emissives. Some of those emissives actually were done in Substance Painter. These ones are a little bit bright, I admit. And these ones here were done in Blender. And there's point lights inside here. All right, so we have got the modular walls that we started with. We've got the tile floor. We've got the bricks. No, see, I call them bricks again. The tiles, we've got the bench. There's a couple of other pieces here. We've got the indent in the wall. We've got the ceiling that I did, and then I just put those lights in there. Uh, we've got the lockers with the locks and the mesh here. I ended up changing the mesh, by the way, from the wireframe to actual uh, geometry. And uh, then I just went on and I did the back door uh, really quickly to finish this off on my own. So there isn't a video showing the modeling of the back door. All right, so I'll just show you another couple of views. There aren't too many different things to look at. Here's just another one of the scene. And another one taken from one of those little alleyways or hallways. Looking back out in the back door is, is right here. All right, and the last one is this one a little bit closer up showing the lock details and the bolts and stuff like that so uh, that was um, a lot of fun I really enjoyed modeling this and uh, I'm going to go on with another series and I'm going to show you what that is right now this is the Kursk this is the interior of a submarine the Kursk was a nuclear power Russian submarine that exploded and sank uh, in uh, 2000 killing all the people on board I believe it was 118 people and uh, a computer game ha has been made about this telling the, the telling the story and also having an element of intrigue and suspense and and stuff like that and I think we're going to get back to some good old-fashioned uh, knob and dial and uh, screen modeling now let's not get overwhelmed here uh, what I'm actually thinking of is this piece right here all right so similar in a way to some of the Fortnite modeling that I did that was just basically knobs and dials and people seem to enjoy I feel like making this console we'll call it right here with these four pieces all right so I've gone around and I've looked for various screenshots and I've saved a, a number of screenshots of the game of other pieces of equipment too that I may do sometime or just draw some inspiration from and I'm looking for more of this section closer because it is a little difficult to make out some of the details but we're going to do some fun modeling and I think the way we'll probably do this is you know we'll probably you know be using a plane and we'll be creating buttons and screens and we'll do them all sort of flat vertical or horizontal and eventually when we're when we're getting closer we'll orient them into a shape similar to this and maybe do a couple of renders of just that piece with whatever is sort of supporting it behind we'll come up with something all right so we got handles we got knobs we got buttons we got dials i'm not sure how i'm going to do some of the graphics of this but uh, we're going to have a go at it anyhow for fun and probably texture it in Substance Painter, maybe a little bit in Blender, I'm not sure. So I'll be starting that uh, probably very soon. So I hope you'll, you'll tune in for that. I hope you'll be interested in that. And of course, there's lots of other things that I have planned for you as well. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for persevering with me through the Black Mesa series. And take care. Talk to you soon.